Christmas poetry again. And this is a modern poem written by a poet of whom I have never previously heard. I don't know anything about her, her political beliefs, or even much of what else she's written. It doesn't seem like she's written that much. And this is not, strictly speaking, a poem, by my definition. It's what's called free verse. Uh, really, I would call this a meditation rather than a poem. However, it qualifies as a poem by modern standards, I suppose, and certainly the thoughts she's putting out really require some, some consideration. And so maybe in this form, she's, uh, she's making you think about it more than if she'd just written it as a piece of prose. I did notice one pattern to the poem. She tends to, uh, the, the poem tends to use a break across the line. So she has, she has come up with a, a format. And, and this is just a technical thing, really. I'm not criticizing her for it. I don't understand the system she's using. What I am more interested in is the thought she has and the way she's framed it, which I think is remarkably good and it certainly made me stop to think so yeah that's what you're supposed to do with poetry isn't it so the poem is called how much more and it's by a woman called christina ma and this is what it says when i donate blood i don't ask how much they'll take from me i just assume that they'll take what they need I trust that they'll leave me enough to survive, that they won't take too much. But I wonder at what point I'd stop them. If I would stop them. How lightheaded would I need to be? How weak need, how dizzy, how brave, yes, brave. I would need to be brave to stop someone taking to say, I have no more to give. To walk away from someone who says they need more. I would need to be brave, but how brave? How brave? How brave? Oh God, how much more brave? I don't know what she's talking about here, but when I saw that, I thought of the immigration problem we have in Britain. When we take uh, I illegal immigrants who are coming into our country by thousands every week, and we have nowhere to put them, and we are putting them in hotels. We're closing down hotels so that we can house these people. They're putting a strain on the social on, on the services generally the you know, the services like schools hospitals medical services shops even village life there's one village where a group of uh, uh, something like a thousand young men were going to be housed in a local barracks and the, the village itself had only a thousand people in it it was something like that they they simply can't absorb that type of demographic in the time that they're given all at once. So we're saying when we give our generosity, our social help to refugees, we don't ask to start with how many are coming. We assume that there will be enough that we can handle and that we will have enough to survive left over, that they won't take too much. But at what point do you stop it? And do you stop it? That's the big, uh, that's the big debate here in this country right now. When do you stop it? And people like Nigel Farage get thoroughly lambasted by many, you know, intellectuals 
for actually saying that you've got to stop it. She says, how brave would I have to be? I would need to be brave to stop someone taking, to say, I've no more to give. To walk away from someone who says they need more. We have these people coming in. They're all literally cast adrift. They need help in many cases. And yet, some at some point, we have to say, we can't handle anymore. And then she says, I would need to be brave, but how brave? I don't know what she's talking about. I'm just saying how these words resonated with me. How brave, how brave. Oh God, how much more brave. It struck me as a a poem about the human condition and about the condition of societies which are attracting poor people from all over the world. It is something we have to be thinking about. In America, it's immigrants from South America, some of them not actually from South America, people have just taken that route. In Britain, at the moment, it's Albanians. Before that, it was other demographics, but it's been going on for a while. In France, uh, what is it, Algerians or, or um, Afghans, whatever. These people are coming in because life in their countries admittedly is not good. Now, at what point do we have to say we can't do any more? How brave do we have to be to say we can't handle more out loud and then attract the the brickbats of people for whom this is still not an issue, so they can be very relaxed about what you can give. The uh, metropolitan intelligentsia in Britain, for instance, making fun of people in isolated Yorkshire villages who suddenly find themselves with their exact population, again, of young men who don't speak English and who have different attitudes to women and girls as well. There's a hotel, um, I don't remember where it is now, they're having to clear all the vegetation from around the hotel because when the village uh, town girls walk past, uh, these guys are jumping out of the bushes and the, the undergrowth uh, to molest the girls, apparently, because it, it must be happening because the council are actually having the whole area where the hotel is, uh, like a sort of reverse moat, you know, cleaned so you can see who's coming. Right, well, that's the poem by Christina Ma. I'd say uh, something we can really all think about. And before I go, I'll tell you that I'm Granny Opterix. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Minds, and I'm on Twitter, Gab and Parlour, where I am at Granny Opterix. I let you know when I've uploaded a new video on Twitter, Gab and Parlour. So if you subscribe to one of those, you won't miss anything. You can help my channel by liking, by sharing and by subscribing. And if you're on YouTube, check you are still subscribed. And you can help me financially, buy me a coffee or one of the other links below, that's PayPal or Subscribestar. OK, till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.